Hi everybody, it's Marcy, and it's time for a flip through of my, of the journal I made for Dear Julie Julie's November Favorite Things Junk Journal Challenge. And in this challenge, we were to pick 15 items to make Julie's favorite things. So in my kit, I had a book, I had some wooden charms, I used my embossing powders, I used two stamp sets, I used my inks, I used some lined journal paper, washi tape, a scrapbook paper pad, I used Wink of Stella, which is, if you're not familiar with it, it's a brush pen that has sort of glitter uh, effects to it. This one that I've got is just clear, sort of sparkly iridescent. And so I used that. I used some lace trim. I used seam binding that I had gotten from my scrap cabin shop on Etsy. I will put a link to that down below. Uh, I had gotten a winter bundle, and so I used that. I used some gold doilies and bulb pins. So I used 14 of the 15 allowed items, plus all of the freebies that Julie gave us to use, and I used at least parts of several Dear Julie Julie digital kits. I used flinch cards, Christmas pages, Santa and Mrs. Claus, that was the main one, cherished children, and Santa. All to some degree. I'll leave her, I'll leave Dear Julie Julie's Etsy shop below along with her YouTube channel so you can join on these journal challenges. Okay, let's get to it. So I've just got a tie closure. One of our required elements was a tassel. I used my binding thread for that. And I embossed some of these little wooden charms that I said were on my list to put as dangles on my tassel. Fabric. I did not have a lot of Christmas fabric. All I had were little stash, uh, little scraps left. And Julie had allowed us, I don't even remember how much fabric. So I used this uh, feed sack. It was plain and I stamped on it using my stamps. So that worked for my fabric. So on the cover, I've got part of my Franken page that we needed to make with stitching and part of the Santa and Mrs. Claus kit with a little lace around it. Now, I won't remember all of the required elements as I'm going through, so I'm just, or anything, so I'm just going to go through it as is. So, here on the inside front, we've got an envelope to which I've got tucked in just a little mini writing journal. And you flip that over and you've got your double tuck with just a couple of little cards that I backed with some of my leftover Franken page. Here I've got one of my, uh, we had to use a napkin to make embellishments. And I've done mine in a December daily type fashion, but I wanted lots of writing space because our Christmas is going to be pretty quiet. So you'll see every spread has a number on it using a flinch card. So I've got the napkin there. Here I've got this is part of an envelope that I backed and made a little pocket here. 
with a little card tucked in here. And this was part of my stack of sticker that I embellished and put another little wooden embellishment on it. Here's another stack of sticker. Here we had to use three junk items. I used this paper bag. This bag was uh, from my dentist. It was a bag they used to put the toothbrush and floss and toothpaste that they give you after each visit. So I don't actually have anything tucked in here yet, but it's a good place to store stuff. I'll close that back up later. Here we've got some music paper from a digital. Here I've got a doily. Uh, put down with some ribbon. Another flinch card. Here I've got a tab with a charm dangling off of it. My tab has stamping on it and a little bit of the uh, binding ribbon with a little bit of lace on top of it. Got another napkin embellishment with a number and a little bow tied around it. Here I've got one of my paper clips holding my flip-flop closed. Here I've got a fabric flip. Flip that up for some hidden journaling space. And I've got another paper clip right here. It's not holding anything at present, but I thought it looked cute there. Here I've got a pocket. And inside that pocket, I've got this tucked in. It's I used a playing card to make some cute decorative journaling space, and these were just scraps of some of the lined paper I'd used, so I just left them as they were and folded them. So you've got actually a fair amount of journaling space in there. And over here we have another napkin bit. My, my napkin just had all these candies and cookies and stuff, and I thought they might made just perfect little embellishments and I just backed them on book paper so we've got that and here I made a little uh, stacked border tuck with all sorts of images on it I just used random images, a little bit of lace, and then put part of the flinch card there to designate the number. Here we had to use a game piece. I used some Monopoly money and put a little train on it, and that becomes a little top tuck. Here we had a stack of note, and so I've got sheets of paper there that just flip right up that you can write on. And I've got another little paper clip here. And the other half of my doily here. Here is, this is the other half of that paper sack that I had used. And tucked inside we've got this the back of this postcard with a little bit of lace. Just a nice little journaling card. More of my napkin. I left this as a little tuck spot. Added flinch card and lace and a little bit of scrapbook paper behind it. Here we've got another pocket that has a little pocket behind into which I tucked one of my large tags. And this pocket opens up, and you've got 
nice space in there. Need to put something in that. Here's the other half of an envelope that was up front with its little double tuck space and another tab that I made. Again, I stamped on it, used some different uh, seam binding, a little lace, and then I attached one of my charms to it. And my charms were made uh, using the digital, and then I put cl clear embossing powder over them, and then went around the edges with embossing powder to give them a little bling, and made these little paper beads from the book pages to go on using my binding string and a bulb pen to hold, clip it on. Here we've got another flip-flop. We go into the second signature. Here I used another piece of junk to make some pockets. It's just wrapping off of, I'm not sure what, something from Dollar Tree. And I put my guest check Right inside here, my guest check was done. I embossed these ornaments, did some stamping, put a little piece of fabric on it. And on this side, I made a little of the clear pocket. I made a little corner tuck, a little bit of lace, and a simple little tag made using the same packaging and just put an image on top of it. Here's another part of our napkin. Here's my third double tuck envelope held on by a paper clip. I did use one of my stack of stickers on that with doily, a little bit of washi tape, and my flinch card. And we open this up and it's got a little side pocket. And on this one, I made a top tuck with a little card inside that you can journal on. And on the reverse side, you've got two more little journal cards. And you've got half of a napkin. On this one, I just put some little dots for decoration, uh, an image from one of Dear Julie Julie's kits here and here, and a flinch card on top of music paper from one of Dear Julie Julie's kits. Here we've got a pocket made out of digital. I put some ribbon on it. Julie had allowed us 72 inches of various fibers for our tassel. Well, I used my binding uh, string for my tassel so that I would be able to use the 72 inches here, and I ended up using 64 of the 72 inches. Okay, and we've got another large tag here. And more of our napkin with a little bit of lace and a couple of images and a flinch card. Here I made a bottom tuck. This was the third of my three doilies and covered it with a little paper, little image, and my flinch card. And I put my Wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see the, the glittering, glitteriness in it, but covered it in Wink of Stella. And here I made just a teeny tiny fat tag this was what was left over after I'd done everything else with my Franken page. Here we've got another paper clip. Here we've got a pocket. This was not the Franken page or a Franken page pocket. This must have just been a pocket. A little bit of doily flinch card and some lace with another tag in it. More napkin with some uh, 
a bow, and the flinch card. Here I use my embossing powder to put little gold dots on the napkin. Center of this signature. Got another tab. This one says Merry Christmas with lace and the seam binding. And I put the last of my three charms on this one. Here's my page for December 25th, and this was one of my stack of stickers. And because it's the 25th, it got two of those little wooden embellishments put on it. So I thought that was kind of cute. And here we have our last uh, flip-flop. And another little paper clip here. Here I've got my belly band. And I've got, this was one of my book page embellishments, I do believe. And I just used the seam binding, wrapped it around, did some embossing. And turned it into sort of a trifold journaling space. Oh, gotta remember how it goes back together. It goes right in there. Here I made a little corner tuck using a postage stamp, a flinch card, some lace trim, and this one, I don't remember what, this may, this was also a book page embellishment. See, sometimes once I get them all decorated, I can't remember what the base was, but this was a book page embellishment, and I just made a little fold out, and Gives you lots of writing space. Here we've got another part of the napkin lace with the flinch card. Here we've got a, another half of the doily with more dots and some embellishing there. Here you'll see in a couple of places I used my washi tape to help these book pages that I that I put in. I love the coloring on these book pages, but they are rather fragile, so I put some washi tape down to help strengthen them. Here I made book page banner that I turned into a top tuck, and it has embossed gold on it with lace and a little bit of eyelash trim. And here's day 31, and I turned it blue and silver because, to me, that just kind of denotes New Year's. And here is the last bit of that clear packaging I had used, so I made another little skinny pocket with a tag to go in it. And that is the end of this journal. So it's got lots of stuff in it. I love this book. The spine could have been a little bit thicker uh, or wider, I'm, uh, I mean to say. But great challenge. Got it done. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. I, I think this will be fun as I'm flipping through, that I can write my December notes in, and uh, I think it's got, it's rather eclectic, but that's okay. It's, it's fun. It's Christmassy. So, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that, and until next time, please be safe, stay healthy, happy crafting, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.